Hello, I'm Trevor Smith from Morven in southern New South Wales. We've had three of these machines since 2005 and we do up to 2,000 hectares a year contract as, as well as our own cropping program. And the reason that we stick to these machines is the, the results we've been getting are absolutely superb. We sow everything from loosened pastures, pasture mixes, clovers, canola down to as low as one kilo a hectare up to cereals, wheat, oats up to 100 kilos a hectare. The results have just speaking for themselves, it's been tremendous. The TDNG 420 semi-auto twin disc drill, it matched the horsepower of the tractor that we had for the work that we were doing. It, the tractor handles it quite easily in all conditions and it doesn't matter whether you're in fallow ground or lay ground or whether you're working in a 10 tonne to the hectare wheat stubble or something like that. The, the machine has no problem with any of those uh, conditions for, for sowing. If the ground's a bit hard early in the season, with, you know, because of lack of rain or something, uh, because of the adjustable pressure system that, that they've got on the front, you can increase the pressure, downward pressure on the discs and therefore it'll, your penetration will be just the same as if the ground is reasonably soft. If it's too wet, the discs have a tendency to float across the top and because of the limiters, you can still only sow the required depth all the time. The press wheels are actually tapered press wheels on the back. They close the cut from the side. They don't push the soil down on top of the seed, therefore embedding the seed deeper into the ground. They close the cut from the side, which is a very important factor. This machine has an added feature of an end tow system. When you finish your paddock, you can just hydraulically fold the machine around in, in, into a transport position, which is directly behind the tractor. You can lift it up on the linkage plus the transport wheels, and you can be out the gate and on the road in a matter of minutes. All you need is oversized signs and a couple of flags. You, know, you don't need an escort vehicle with it. Great idea, it certainly works well. We, we bought our first semi-auto in 2005 and the results we got of that was, were terrific. So after a few years, we upgraded to another, the later model in 2010. We used it for, for many years and they're virtually faultless. We couldn't find any cracks or wear or stress on them. So then they bought out this particular model with the, with the changing of the gears all done in a gearbox for your ratios. And it just simplified the whole job so much better. Just, just a great improvement for the, for the combine. Simply just loosen the chain off here and move it over to a, a bigger cog at the top which will make your drives go slower or a smaller cog at the bottom which will make them go faster and then you've got your variable drive on the back for your seed. The linkage hookup on these combines has got a double swivel, they've got a swivel there where it allows the machine to go that way sideways as well as when you turn sharply if you're doing end to end sewing it'll turn sharply on this big kingpin here and it makes it easy to unhook the machine. You just put the landing legs down on the, on the combine, drop your linkage down and it'll just slide away and sit there ready to be hooked up again the next time you use it. It allows you to turn virtually, with these tractors they virtually turn on the spot to get back in line for your next AB line. The construction's an extremely heavy machine. Out of the two previous machines, we, we couldn't find a cracker or a stress fracture in any of the framework at all, and it was over some pretty rough country during its lifetime. To calibrate the semi-auto disc drill, it's a very simple process. We just use these catch bottles that you, you attach these to the seed shoots, the special made seed shoots, and then you, you wind the handle the regulated number of times as programmed in by the width of the, the wheel and stuff to get your area of the hectare. Then you weigh the contents of the two bottles and then there's a mathematical process that you go through that will give you your sowing rate of kilos per hectare. And then that's where you set the, your seed at for sowing and they're very accurate. And the same for the situation for the fertiliser. The, the semi-auto has uh, two small seed boxes on the back uh, for sowing your smaller seeds such as clovers, loosens, mixed seeds and legumes and it's a, just a two bag hopper, one at each end of the machine and it's calibrated here by this slide drive just here and to get it very accurate down, get it down to 0.78 of a, a hectare for canola or um, speed it up whatever, up to three or four kilos a hectare in canola. Very accessible to get out to, it's a nice height for filling and um, because most small seeds are in bags, so it's a nice height for that and not too difficult to lift up. 
I'm very happy with the semi-autos that we've had. Um, everyone's given terrific results and that, that's what we're after, is getting the seed to soil contact, getting the seed at the right depth, and the semi-auto has been able to do that with, in, regardless of the conditions, given the best results that you can possibly get at harvest time or haymaking time, whatever the case may be. A very sturdy machine, we've had no problems with them at all and uh, wouldn't hesitate to buy another one if, if they warranted it. I found um, dealing with seraphim machinery at Griffith that uh, from the bosses right down to the salespeople, the workshop managers, the spare parts people especially, they've always been approachable, they'll always take your call or give you a ring back. I can't speak highly enough of the crew out at Seraphin, so they're, they're there to do a job and provide after sale service and we certainly get that from them.